foiled again is going to take a spin in front of the stands. Take a look at perhaps the greatest harness horse of all time, certainly the richest, foiled again getting a huge round of applause. Good morning. You're watching PA Harness Week. From the horses to the drivers to the big money races, we have all of your harness happenings and more on this week's show. Good morning. I'm Charlotte McBride, and this is Heather Vitale. Charla, I love hanging out with you every <laughs> week, right? Uh, we have a half an hour of harness racing, my favorite sport. Life is good. Life is good. And on this week's show, we have foiled again. The richest standard red horse in the sports history wins his 100th race. We'll show you his milestone moment. Plus, we finally catch up with driver George Napolitano to discuss his 9,000th race a few weeks ago and take a ride in the starting car to get up close and personal with two of the game's top starting officials. All this and more in racing's fastest paced half hour. Our headline this week is all about foiled again, and you know, he is the richest harness horse in history with over seven and a half million dollars. You don't get that rich without winning a few big races, right? So we're gonna go back to 2013 and get a glimpse of some of his biggest races in Pennsylvania when he won the Ben Franklin and the Breeders' Crown. Slight lead there for Razzle Dazzle. Outside foiled again. Late kick far back. Pet Rock. Pet Rock. Foiled again. Pet Rock. Foiled again. Foiled again. I believe foiled again wins the photo there. Whoa, we need he trying to launch his bid after foiled again. Pet Rock waiting for the passing lane. It's foiled again. Pet Rock charging up the rail. Modern legend there. Foiled again. Dead game. Clear vision late on the outside. Pet Rock on the inside. Photo. Finish! Foiled again! Fast forward to 2018 as Foiled again goes for his 100th win at Harris, Philadelphia. And you might be wondering why is this such a big deal, right? Well, since 1976, there have only been 20 horses who have had 100 wins. And only two of those horses have had 100 wins and over a million dollars in earnings. So Foiled again reaching this milestone makes him in a very elite three-horse club in harness racing. Fair! Off and pacing. Perseverant and foiled again. Left well for the lead and foiled again is being driven aggressively. Racing in third and dropping down Brody from the outside. Artsum is in search of an early seat, but foiled again wants to control his own destiny as they round the turn and he spurts away. The lead by a length and a half. Perseverant settles into second. Artsum is parked out and looking perhaps to take a tuck in the three hole in front of Brody, shy of the quarter and will. Two darn hot races, fifth and sixth position. Fill your boots, 27 and two for the open. Opening quarter, so foiled again is on top. He will control his own fate, and he's up by a length and a half. Perseverant races second. Artsma found the three hole. Brody stays to the inside fourth. Here comes the outer flow now, led by two darn hot who's uncovered fifth. Failure Boots is in behind him as they make their way towards the half. Here comes Swifties at the inside seventh, and six gun is third over. About eight lengths away from leader foiled again, who's up by a length and a half now. Half time 56 and four. Shingra got the second quarter that he wanted. 29 and 2. Up the bank stretch. Foiled again by 2. Perseverant races second. On the outside, two darn hots trying to get closer. Thurn starting to be driven along now. Inside, Arts must start to look for racing room fourth. And now bearing off the pocket, here comes Perseverance after leader foiled again. So foiled again leads by three parts. Perseverance taking his aim now. Up the inside, Artsma. Opportunistic moves through into a vacated pocket. Three quarters, 125 and 2. As they round the final turn. Inside, Brody. Looks for racing room fourth. Too darn hot is gapped off cover fifth. Top of the stretch. Foiled again. Set down for the drive. Shingra is asking the veteran for all he's got as they straighten away. Outside Perseverant moves up alongside. Foiled again under a high rain. Outside Perseverant. Inside it's Artsma. But it's foiled again. The Iron Horse has cemented his legacy. You just saw history being made right there. A great call by announcer Mike Bozich. And that was foiled again, going from wire to wire for his 100th victory. Congratulations, by the way, to the owners of Burke Racing, Weaver, Bruschemi, and JJK Stables. Of course, to trainer Ron Burke mm -hmm. and to driver Yannick Jingra. You know, in foiled again's career, there have been over 13 drivers that foiled again has pulled around the racetrack, and Yannick Jingra has been behind him the most. That's right. And coming up, we'll see a lot more of Foiled Again in our What's Trending segment. I'll also chat with George Napolitano about his 9,000th career victory. And we'll head to the Downs at Mohegan Sun Pocono. Coming up. 
It's skipping by on the drop from the Open Series with George Napolitano Jr. guiding her. At Mohegan Sun Pocono, the colors shine a little brighter. The meals are just a little tastier, and the slots a little hotter. When you're here with great friends, the good times seem to last a little longer. And you just may feel a little luckier. Best of all, it's all a little closer, so you can shine on anytime you like. Shine on, Mohegan Sun Pocono. The world is full of compromises, but not here. Not on this day, not in this race, not in this sport. Every bet is a hope. Return on investment comes in seconds. This is Harness Racing. We welcome you to the Harness Racing Fan Zone. See it all for yourself. Feel it in all the passion. Share that experience with others. The Harness Racing Fan Zone puts you in the driver's seat. Welcome back. You're watching PA Harness Week, racing's fastest paced half hour. Right now, we're going to get to our race of the week from the Downs at Mohegan Sun Pocono, which took place on July 8th. And ladies are taking center stage for this one. Watch out for number one skipping by. In her last six starts, she had two wins and three seconds. The Pacers have reached the back stretch, and they are underway. Skipping by at the pylons, immediately taking over a slight lead here with Kiss Me on the Beach going right along. Vorst is third, two back. On the outside, Princess Fabulosa will back off behind Touchomatic. Look for a tuck in front of Eclipse Me, who's sixth. Oceania at the back of the pack is nine off the pace, being set by Skipping By, who leads this field of seven around the turn. And they mosey to the quarter mile marker. They reach that uh, mark in 27 even. It's Skipping By on the drop from the open series with George Napolitano Jr. guiding her. And she's out by two now at even money. Second is Kiss Me on the beach. Another two back to Vorsten from New York. It's touch a in fourth. She's one back to back. David Miller has her on the inside and she patiently stays there. Princess Fabulosa is fifth. Then Eclipse Me and Oceania at the back of the pack. Likes to come from off the pace and that's what she'll be doing if she has to get in contention here. The half mile 55 and two. 28 and two. Second panel. Solid numbers up front. It's skipping by. Going along well and stretching her lead to two now over Kiss Me on the beach. Another length and half to Vorsten in third. Nothing materializing on the outside yet. touch is fourth and six back. Two more back to Princess Fabulosa. Eclipse me to the outside. Six with Oceania. The trailer skipping by, leading by two and a half lengths now. And she rolls to the three-quarter mark by herself in 122 flat. 26 and three on the back. Skipping by with a heat check there on the back stretch from third. Vorst coming up on the outside. Kiss me on the beach. There is three back. And then it's a touch matic fourth. Top of the stretch. Skip, uh, skip Skipping uh, by, still there by three and a half lengths. Vorst all out. Now coming on in second. touch -a third. Skipping by, slowing down as the line approaches, but she has a margin there. It's skipping by to win it by a length in the feature. Skipping by wins easily in a lifetime best in a blazing 149 and four for trainer Nick Surik. In the driver's seat was George Napolitano Jr., who recently won his 9,000th career win. And Sharla caught up with him about this impressive milestone. All right, George, congratulations on your 9,000th career win. What does it feel like? Oh, great feeling anytime you uh, achieve a good goal like that. It's pretty awesome. I know that your racing days are often very hectic. Sometimes you're racing here in the morning or the afternoon, and then you're going to Pocono and vice versa. How do you balance this hectic racing schedule? Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, you know, just seven days a week, double headers and stuff. But you just, it's a grind. You just got to dig in and, uh, you know, push forward. And, uh, and look look forward to uh, Florida a couple of months off. <laughs> so you, you do the double headers. Have you ever done a triple header? Could you ever imagine racing at three different spots in a day? No, nah, that's <laughs> I, and I know some guys do do that, wow. but yeah, it's it's crazy to do that. But uh, you know, I enjoy life. I'm very grateful for uh, you know the opportunities I have. I have a bunch of great guys uh, in my corner, and I'm just very thankful for that. So 9,000 wins, a million moments that you've had on these racetracks. Any that just stick out in your head that you kind of replay over and over again, and it makes you smile? Yeah, I kind of. Um, you know, the one greatest moment I thought was uh, winning the Ben Franklin in a nine hole. With luck be with you, that's, that'll probably stick in my head forever. 
So 9,000. How long before we can expect you to get to 10,000? No, I don't know. It's a grind. <laughs> it's a grind. They don't come any easier, but, you know, I'm just very thankful. I got a bunch of great guys to drive for. They're very patient and uh, they're good to work with, and I'm just, you know, just keep on going forward. It's time for a little segment we like to call OMG. It's a race that made our jaws drop, our eyes widen, and it's really just too good to not show again. Underway, Abby Dorney on the inside, firing along with Drink and again. Smile and say cheese on the outside, aggressive early as well. And Smile and say cheese will take a slight lead from Abby Dorney. Drink and again tight in third, followed by Treasure Mock. And it's Santa Fe's coach finding a tuck fifth uh, if he wants it in front of Talent Soup. Jupiter Johnny is parked out seventh at the back street boy and the trailer rock and blue. Smile and say cheese comes away with the lead as they round the turn and make the quarter in a quick 27 and 2. So now as they straighten out of the front, smile and say cheese leading the way for George Napolitano Jr. from third. That's drinking again, making a move to the front for Marcus Miller. Smile and say cheese accelerating and parking out, drinking again. Two back to Abby Dorney in third, followed there by Treasure Mock. Another two to Santa Fe's coach pace is really rapid around the turn. It's Jupiter Johnny six, followed by Talent Soup, while uh, Treasure Mock, uh, Rock and Blue has lost touch and Street Boys off stride the half 55 and 1, 27 seven and four second panel nearly as quick as the first on the outside drinking again has a slight lead but has not been able to clear as smile and say cheese holding on to that position great trip for Abby Dorney and now treasure mock second over is within a length and a half and gaining Santa Fe's coach fifth still saving ground then Jupiter Johnny way back to talent soup eighth is rock and blue and street boy faded out of it smile and say cheese now back up by a length three quarters 123 and one 28 even third panel smile and say cheese with the lead, Abby Dorney a threat in the pocket. And meanwhile, Santa Fe's coach trying to squeeze through on the inside third pass, drinking again. Top of the stretch, smile and say cheese. George Knapp calling on him for more. Abby Dorney pulls the pocket, smile and say cheese still there. Now room inside for Santa Fe's coach as well. Abby Dorney, smile and say cheese. Abby Dorney. Abby Dorney with Maca Kaylee in the bike for trainer Carl Conti Jr. wins in a lifetime best of 152 and pays. $80 to win. Okay, now Abby Dorney is a little village in Ireland, and the breeder on this horse is Tim Rooney. Yes, of the famous Rooney family, Pittsburgh Steelers fame. All right, so if you're a Steelers fan, right, or you're a little Irish, you may have had this. Hunch bets are definitely worth putting a few dollars down. And we have a whole lot more coming up on PA Harness Week from right here at Harris, Philadelphia, and we'll show you a very special blast from the past. Mr. Herbie has taken the lead. Intimidate could not trot with him. The Harness Horse Youth Foundation, changing lives since 1976 by providing unforgettable experiences while educating young racing fans. The Harness Horse Youth Foundation, hands-on equine learning at camps across the country and driving exhibitions. The Harness Horse Youth Foundation, providing scholarships, leadership programs, career and college information. Support the Harness Horse Youth Foundation. Log on to hhyf.org and find us on Facebook. The Harness Horse Youth Foundation, growing our future with enthusiasm. It's Mac Lobel, and he's pouring it on. It's Niatros by four, and he's going away. The Harness Racing Museum and Hall of Fame, a place where heroes come to life, preserving Harness Racing's treasured past while promoting its exciting future. And now get ready to harness your excitement with the thrill of Harness Racing's 3D simulator. The Harness Racing Museum and Hall of Fame, now offering free admission. Bigger, better, bolder than ever. Welcome back to PA Harness Week. Our next race of the week is from right here at Harris, Philadelphia. That's right. Number one here is Rock On Precious, just missed last time out. Number two is I'm Some Graduate, who is taking a drop in class and is the favorite. And number three is Torg Sealster, been racing at Yonkers and starts for new trainer Jake Hartline. There, off and pacing. Uh, on the outside, Honey Up Home left well. I'm some graduate in Rock on Precious. Kick forward from the inside, but it's Honey Up Home who crosses over from the center. And Honey Up Home's up a length now as they round the turn. On the outside, I'm some graduate stays on. Rock on Precious defends pylon position as they make their way towards that quarter. Off stride out in the center, Ginger Tree Marty. Six made a break. Coming away, fourth, Torig Sealster. Length and half back, Twin Creeks Jesse races fifth and sixth position. Rock Power, 26 and four for the quarter. Got 
Casino bags Carlo is seventh, and way behind Ginger Tree Marty. In front of us for the first time, and I'm some graduate shows the way now. Leads it by a length, released by Honey I'm Home, with five eights to go. Rock on Precious is third. Torg Seals there is in line fourth. Twin Creeks Jesse races fifth now. Starts up to the outside. Rock Power looks to join the outer flow as well. Casino Banks Carlo is seventh. And Ginger Tree Marty's trying to get back into it. Fifty five and one up the back stretch. Twenty eight and two second quarter for I'm some graduate. Honey I'm home races second. Torg Seals there now. Grinds up wide third. Rock on Precious pinned to the inside fourth. Twin Creeks Jesse is gapped off cover fifth. Rock Power third up into the fray about seven lengths off the lead. Casino Banks Carlo looks to tighten down from the inside. And Ginger Tree Marty has eliminated himself as they hit the final bend. I'm some graduate by a half. Outside Torg Sealster. Right there, third Honey I'm home. Three quarters, 122 and four. Rock on Precious now angles off the pylons fourth. As Twin Creeks Jesse starts the back pedal, they straighten the way for the stretch drive. I'm some graduate digs in. Torg Sealster on the outside moves up. Open stretch now for Honey I'm home. And out widest Rock on Precious mid stretch. And Torg Sealster is the one that kicks on. You know, summer is here when the weather is getting hotter, and so is the racing. We have another lifetime best here. 115 for Torg Sealster for trainer Jake Hartline. By the way, Hall of Famer David Miller on the bike, like my favorite driver. And the horse pays $30, and I miss this. It's like woulda, coulda, shoulda, Charla. I don't know, right? <laughs> we have a lot more coming up right here at Harris, Philadelphia. Heather, take it away. Yeah, you know, in this race, foil again, not your only aged warrior on today's show. Check out Piece of the Rock in this one. There, off and pacing. They're on the outside, Mr. Truth and such a sense of humor leaving tandem and Sievers at the inside, moving out for dads in between rivals, taken back as they round the turn. Piece of the Rock comes away fifth, and it's King Royalty, followed by Corner Con Artist, and Zoe's boy Henry is the last of them all. Shy of the quarter, and Mr. Truth drives on. Mr. Truth now is clear and such a sense of humor nearing the quarter. Man Sievers settles down into the three hole with for dad an early fourth. Piece of the Rock is next, quarter up in 27 and 2. They Make their way towards us for the first time. Mr. Truth unchallenged, uncontested. Such a sense of humor with the watchful eyes. Second man, Sieber is third. The outer flow is underway, led by Verdad, who takes up the first over going. Piece of the Rock picks up that cover with five mates to go and comes under Bongiorno, urging. Outside, King Royalty is sixth, rounding the turn. Corner Con Artist looks to save ground. And Zoe's boy Henry's fourth over into the flow. They've reached the half in a time of 56 and 2. 29 second, rating up the bank stretch. Mr. Truth by three parts now a half. Outside for Dad takes same second. Such a sense of humor. Tightens down in the pocket third by a length on the outside. Second up fourth comes Piece of the Rock two and a half lengths off the lead. And now Bongiorno sends him out three wide. Inside Man Sieber looks for racing room. Third up on the flow comes King Royalty as they round the turn. Corner con artist and Zoe's boy Henry still with them all to pass. Three quarters 124 and three. They round the turn. Mr. Truth by a half. In between for Dad. Out Outwind trying card, piece of the rock. Inside, such a sense of humor is awaiting clearance. Three wide with cover, King Royalty. They bunch, they straighten. Mr. Truth on the inside leads it by a half. On the outside, piece of the rock looks to slingshot off cover. Their dad still in with a chance in between. Mid stretch up the inside, such a sense of humor. Furious finish coming. Piece of the rock is out widest. Piece of the rock winning this one with a Joe Bongiorno in the sulky. We've talked about foiled again on today's show, but piece of the rock, a veteran pacer, not too shabby himself. He's 11 years old he's had over 40 wins and over eight hundred thousand dollars as well so congratulations to this veteran pacer in this week's blast from the past we are heading back to 2013 and the breeders crown market share stole the show then and he's stealing this show now and they're off. Wishing Stone broke. Wishing Stone was going to charge out of there, and he jumped it off, leaving. So Intimidate is fastest off the wings from between horses, and he clears easily before the opening turn. Market share on the inside, racing in second. Mr. Herbie is parked first over. Arch Madness has room to fit in on the inside fourth. Uncle Peter is fifth on the outside. My MVP immediately to his inside sixth. Wishing Stone caught back trotting quickly, but he's seventh on the outside as they near the quarter. Guccio is racing in eighth, and Servuga backed off the gate where he 
trails the field, and the front split is up in 26 and 4, and Intimidate is out there winging under a stronghold from Pierce, and he drags his way clear to a two and a half length margin. Market share in the loose pocket spot tracks along in second. Mr. Herbie is right there third. Arch Madness gaps about two lengths further back and forth. Uncle Peter just floating up first over in fifth. My MVP six, Arch Madness flush to the outside, so Uncle Peter has his cover to follow as they circle the turn, reaching the half in 54 and three. Savruga taking the short route in traffic. Wishing Stone is eighth on the outside, and Guccio stacked up last with excess cover and trails the field. Intimidate taking no prisoners on the front end. Still a length and a half clear. Mr. Herbie is underway. First over for Jody Jameson, and he's gaining ground on the outside. Now into the second spot. Market share in the loose pocket, racing in third. My MVP riding the pylons all the way in fourth. Arch Madness is fifth on the outside as they head around the far turn. Three quarters in 122 and one, and Mr. Herbie has taken the lead. Intimidate could not trot with him. He's back in second. Market share shifted to the outside. He's gaining ground for T-Trick. Arch Madness is racing in fourth. Market share diving back to the inside to challenge Mr. Herbie. It's Mr. Herbie. Here comes Market Share charging hard up the rail. Mr. Herbie is game. Market Share on the inside. They're coming down to the finish. They hit the wire together. Market Share wins this Breeders' Crown in 151 and always great to hear Hall of Fame announcer Sam McKee, who was taken from us way too soon. Market Share, he had $3.8 million in earnings, just retired in 2017. Now the trainer is Linda Toscano, who, congratulations, Linda. She is now on the Harness Racing Hall of Fame ballad, and the voting will happen this summer. Linda Toscano, my gosh, so much about her. 2012 Trainer of the Year. She trained the Horse of the Year, Chapter 7, among other world champions. Also on the ballot, by, by the way, is Ted Gawarta, Ted Wing, Blair Burgess, and Joe Holloway. So good luck to all of you guys. Jerry Silverman, he has actually now gotten into the Hall of Fame this year because there's a special category for veterans. That's horsemen and women over the age of 70. So... All right, bravo to Jerry. <laughs> The 2018 Breeders' Crown is coming up on October 27th at the Downs at Mohegan Sun Pocono, but you don't have to wait until then to see great live racing action. Here's a look at your live racing schedule for this week. The Downs at Mohegan Sun Pocono has exciting live harness racing Saturday through Tuesdays. Each evening, the post time is at 7 p.m. And at Harris, Philadelphia, there is Sunday racing with a post time of 1240. Then on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the first race post time is at 1225. We have much more still to come on this week's edition of PA Harness Week. Coming up, we have a special feature on the starting car. See what we mean in just a few minutes, and we'll show you what's trending. All right, drivers, get them together. Bring them this way. The one and the four are out. At Mohegan Sun Pocono, the colors shine a little brighter. The meals are just a little tastier, and the slots a little hotter. When you're here with great friends, the good times seem to last a little longer, and you just may feel a little luckier. Best of all, it's all a little closer, so you can shine on anytime you like. Shine on, Mohegan Sun Pocono. This message is brought to you by the more than 23,000 folks all across the Commonwealth, your friends, your neighbors, who proudly earn their living in Pennsylvania's horse racing and breeding industries. Each year, horse racing provides well over $4 billion in economic impact statewide. And horse racing is directly responsible for jobs, tens of thousands of solid, good-paying jobs. In Erie, Harrisburg, Philadelphia, everywhere you look. Horse racing in Pennsylvania, it's a winner. The world is full of compromises, but not here. Not on this day, not in this race, not in this sport. Every bet is a hope. Return on investment comes in seconds. This is Harness Racing. We welcome you to the Harness Racing Fan Zone. See it all for yourself. Feel it in all the passion. Share that experience with others. The Harness Racing Fan Zone puts you in the driver's seat. You're watching PA Harness Week. Every race starts behind the starting car. Have you ever wondered what goes on inside the starting car or how it all happens? Well, this week we take you inside and give you a look at two of the very best. All right, drivers, get them together. Bring them this way. The one and the four are out. Did you have to go to a special school to do this? 
Uh, I did the qualifiers at Poconos for a couple of years, and then I did the fairs around uh, Pennsylvania for two years. Then I've been here since 06. All right, go. I absolutely love my job. I trained back in the 70s and 80s. I uh, got away from the business uh, when I sold the business I was in. Uh, my son-in-law, who's also a horse trainer, told me about this job when this track was opening back in 2006, 2007. I called Chu up. Uh, we've been together ever since. And it's like being back in the business without the hassles of it. We're following the horses around. We act as a patrol judge to make sure there's no interference. After the race, the drivers will get come back by us, and if they think they were interfered with, they'll tell us where, what happened. We'll call the judges and they'll look at it. One of the things I love about this business, here's a retired airline pilot. He flew cargo, not passengers. 72 years old, owns a couple horses, comes here during the summer, drives and trains himself, and does very well. What other business can you be in where you're in your 70s and be competitive? again I may have gotten 100 wins but hashtag foiled again forever is still continuing on he's taking a little break right now he's in Lexington Kentucky at the Kentucky Horse Park for Briar Fest yes he has his own little model Briar horse so everyone always says I want to own a horse like foiled again hello you can get him you can own him anyway he'll be greeting thousands of fans in Lexington so have fun with that foiled again and you mentioned people wanting to own a horse like foiled again well you can have this lovely beanie baby of foiled again and there's a big giveaway coming up but we're not going to tell you where we're not going to tell you when that's a little bit of a teaser for a show in a few weeks that's right and you know the media has absolutely adored foiled again he made espn's sports centers a top 10 after that big 100th victory he's even been in the wall street journal i mean this horse has been everywhere and of course he's been lighting up social media let me just read a few of the tweets that happened on the day he won right hind says just another day at the office for hashtag foiled again forever bow down people nina says congratulations to the one and only foiled again who took his 100th career win today. What a horse made of steel and the heart of a lion. And Yannick Zingra, of course, his regular driver on Twitter said, today is a day I will forever remember. Foiled has given me so many great memories and being able to win this one with him is beyond special. Thanks, old boy, for all the thrills. And then he ends it with five yellow hearts, which I thought was a nice touch. And you can always find us on social media at HarnessWeek.com. You can find us on Facebook at HarnessWeek and on Twitter at PA HarnessWeek. It's been another great show. Thank you so much for tuning in this half hour. Make sure to always catch us on Saturday mornings right here at 1030 on NBC Philadelphia.